Okay, welcome guys. Today I want to show you how to get started with SFML and CMake. I will use my uh, C Lion IDE for it, but you can use every other IDE you want. I will just show it with this IDE. So I made a really simple SFML blueprint. It has all the libraries already in there that you will need. Uh, like TGUI and SFML for sure. So let's just start with that. Uh, you will need to download it from my Git repository. I will put the link in the description. In C line, you can do it like this and just put in the, the GitHub address. I already downloaded it, so let's open it. You will find this whole structure but before we can start we need to do some things um, first of all we need to install uh, MinGW in the right version as you can see I've included the MinGW installer in in the github repository so you don't have to search for it you can just go in there open it and then um, there's something really important. You have to install the right version. You will need 7.30. You need your architecture. If you have 32-bit or 64, I have 64. And the rest, just leave the rest as it is. I already installed it, so uh, yeah, j just click OK for it to everything and then it will get installed. So we have the, the compiler installed. Then every time you start or you compile something with uh, SFML on under the Windows, you will need the DLLs um, that are I think that are in the included or something like that. I I don't know where they are. Or to be honest, yeah, exactly there they are. Um, and to make it really easy, I wrote into the C into into the CMake file a small function that. <coughs> is just copying all the required DLLs into your CMake build file so you already um, or you can always start with the program. It's a really uh, really simple blueprint so it, it will get you right in, uh, right started into your game development. Um, it has a simple state machine so you can use that uh, if you don't like it you can throw it away. Uh, I just made some uh, classes that will just maybe help some uh, beginners to understand like what a game engine could look like. This is just my approach, but I hope it's uh, helpful for some for some guys of you. Uh, if you're using uh, C Lion, I will show you how to set up everything in the IDE. You go to settings, and then you go to your tool chains. And there you have to, if you have uh, MinGW installed in a different version, you have to choose the right version, 7.30. Use that as the default compiler. Um, then when you start with it, you can you you can generate a new one, um, the release. Um, what, what is that? I think that's a. I don't know what it's called. So you you can you can make uh, release and debug uh, release and debug um, uh, compilations uh, with this option. So have a release there too. Always like if you like every I don't know every couple of days try to uh, compile it in the release so you don't have any problems that you maybe uh, only have in release and don't have in debug. Okay, then click OK. And uh, normally you can just uh, like reload the CMake file, and you should be ready to start and compile it. And normally it should just compile, and you are ready to go. 